I'm sick. I'm tired. I've been sick and tired. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot for the two reference right there. Whoa! Okay, let's make the video. Gotta take this thing off. Hello everyone, my name is Ivan and this is the Raven Volcanic by Vadim Taranov. So I was basically on Reddit discussing with a friend of mine about the AMSIMS and IRs, all that stuff. And I mentioned him that I was trying the Omega Run of Fire by New World DSP. And he told me like, hey, have you tried the Raven Volcanic? And I was, no, what, 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 what's that? And he said like, oh, it's a cool AMSIM that it's totally free and it's inspired by the Omega Granophile so I just had to check it out because I loved I really loved the Omega Granophile so here it is this is how it looks you can tell that it was inspired by the Omega Granophile just look at that nuffs um, okay by the way I'm sick so <laughs> I'm gonna miss a lot of notes right now it's not, it's So once you download it, this is how it looks. It is just the amplifier, there's no effects, there's no uh, IR loader, it's just the amp with the basic knobs. It has two channels, a clean one and a high gain one, which it splits into two, two sub channels, I don't know, which have two types of distortion, a crunch one and a lead one. And every channel has its own uh, EQ, and you have also the power and drive knob, a depth knob, and a detail knob. Also, you have a switch to stereo, the input and output control, and you can control the quality. The quality, quality. You can control the quality of the sound, high and low. That's it. So now let's check out the channel one. One nice. Let's tweak around these knobs just a little bit. Pretty straightforward clean tone, but now let's check out <laughs> But now let's check out the distortion channel <sighs> Fucking really sick <laughs> 
By the way, I'm using the Nadir um, Impulse Loader by Ignite Amps. And there's no there there's no even a there's no even a tube screamer in the path in the signal path. But but there's a gate. So without the gate, it, you can tell that it has a lot of distortion. Hear that? Hear that? So now. Let's turn off this distortion and select the crunch one. No, that's not it. That's it. I like it, I like it, um, but I prefer definitely the lead distortion. I mean, that's why I installed this plugin. So let's tweak the knobs a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I also found out that the compensate knob, I don't even know what a compensate knob was until I tweak it and it just acts like a volume knob. So that's okay. I'm clipping. Last but not least, the power amp drive. That's a lot of volume. Um, the depth knob, which adds a uh, low frequency boost. You can definitely hear it. <laughs> I think I play better being sick. And the detail knob. Yeah, it's just a boost uh, on the high frequencies. And that's pretty much it. That's the amp. I gotta say that for this being free, it's absolutely amazing. You have a lot, a lot of distortion. Of course, it's made for metal. And I'm gonna leave the link down below so you can check it out for yourselves. See you soon. Wow. Ugh.